Hello there everybody, welcome back to Team Pokemon. My name is Tal and today I have my Trevenant and Flareon deck. So it's the deck I used to win uh, the both less tournaments uh, we had around here, both less local tournaments. So I was undefeated in both and how this deck came to be a thing is that I just sat in my room and thought to myself, okay everybody here plays Vespaqueen, what can I do to really counter them? And then I came to a conclusion that there are, there are five things that really hurt Vespaqueen. The first thing is item lock because they can't use battle compressor and cards like that and you really slow them down. The next thing is energy disruption, they really need those DCEs. The next thing is being able to one shot their Vespa Queens because if they run out of Vespa Queens they need to set up again with sacred dash and stuff like that. The next thing is bench damage because all of their Pokemon are really weak. And the last thing is not being weak to either grass, fire, lightning or water. And then this deck came to be a thing because it can do all of the all of those uh, five things. So the idea of the deck is to get Trevenant going on your first turn and lock them with Forest Scares, and then use Tree Slam for 60 and 22 to two Pokemon on your opponent's bench. But you're going to attack using Flareon as your partner, and then you can one shot all of the Vespa Queens. So that's the kind of attacking idea of the deck. Now. The way you're going to get your your Trevenant on the first turn is using Wally. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of fast uh, cards uh, like Trainer's Mail and Shaman and and unknowns in this deck because you want to get that Wally on the first turn. And believe me, you will get it most of the times. So, other than Trevenant and Flareon, you also run here the four unknowns, like I said, the two Shaman EXs just for speed. And then one banal bit that I really came to like in this format. It's a really good card just for replenishing your uh, your cards that you can't get back, like DCEs and stuff like that. It really helps. And going with your uh, Sacred Dash, it pretty much, pretty much gives you an infinite deck. Not like Trump card, but still, it's a really good card. And that's for the Pokemon line. Then for the supporter line, you going. I go. I went really, really small on the drawing supporter line. Only have three profes, Professor Sycamore and two Professor Birches, and then I went big on the more disruption part. I have the two Wallies to get the Trevenant on the first turn. I have the Lysander. One of them is enough, and then the Team Flare Grant and the Zerosic that that helps you with energy disruption. Then you have the four VS Seekers just to get those disruption cards back. Um, you have for your other items the four ultra balls and two level balls just to get your Pokemon going. You have three trainers mails just to get the deck uh, going and just be able to get the Twally on the first turn. You have for your tool hard charm because well if Vespa Queen can't one shot you anyways then with hard charm it will be even harder for them to one shot you while they can discard Pokemon to the discard pile with items then they can't really get enough to knock you out. So, Harcham is really good in this deck. Um, then for your other items, you have one Enhanced Hammer just for extra energy disruption, one Switch and one Escape Rope for being able to, well, switch your Pokemon. And then one Sacred Dash just to get your Pokemon back and make the infinite deck with Bunnelby. Um, for your this uh, for your DCs, <laughs> nice. For your energies, you have four DCs, four psychic energies and for mystery energy now the idea with mystery energy is that it doesn't give your Trevenant free retreat but it does make his retreat only one energy and it's really good making it that you can just attach a mystery energy and detach it to retreat and if you have just a phantom block uh, locked uh, in the active spot the mystery energy will give him free retreat so I think it's really vital in this deck it's really good and it makes the deck go even smoother so I really love this deck it's a really good anti-metal deck right now and well let's just jump into a game and see how it works all right let's go so I can see dragon and colorless okay my opponent will flip his coin and what will he get he gets tails and I get to go first okay that's great um, we start with a decent hand um, if I can get an Ultra Ball of this Trainer's Mail, it will be amazing. Um, but we'll have to see. Okay. And okay. Okay. 
let's use the trainer's mail first thing um, let's see I don't think I'll take anything just so I'll get more cards from the shaman attach the energy and use the shaman okay use the second shaman ah, it was a pretty bad start but we'll have to make do let's attach the heart charm use the level ball uh, the trainer's mail and probably take a level ball use it and get an EV going then I will probably retreat let me think I don't think he, he can attack me on the first turn with a Reshiram so I'll probably just end my turn here next turn I'll ultra ball discard the Wally and something else for Okay, we can see Enhanced Hammer, that's why you really want to get uh, the Trevenant on the first turn, but, well, what can you do? Um, okay, we can see Scorched Earth, Shauna, anything else? Okay, discarding a Fire Energy, drawing two cards. Um, okay, an Ultra Ball, discarding Lysander and Hex Maniac. Okay, Shimin for three cards and okay another Reshiram and that's it okay now let's use the Ultra Ball to get the Trevenant going it looks like we have one in the prizes okay let's evolve attach the mystery energy use the Via Seeker and use the Professor Sycamore Okay, let's see. Let's use the trainer's mail and take the switch just to have it. Um, let's use the unknown. Okay, we got a Wally. -E. Let's attach the second heart charm. And right here, I'll end my turn. Um, you really want to get the DCE on the next turn? That would be great. Um, we can see as Professor Sycamore. Okay, it looks like we're going against a Mega Rayquaza, probably the Dragon one. Um, it can be dangerous, but it is really hard to charge him up, so I think we have a good chance of winning here, mostly because we can't, uh, we won't even let him use his Mega Turbos and stuff like that, so it will be hard for him. Okay. Um, at this point... Uh, Okay, let's see. I really want to start attacking, but I don't want to waste all of um, my energies. So I'll probably, well, no, I'll attach the energy to this guy and take this turn to just use the Wally -E and evolve into another Trevenant, then end my turn. Um, next turn, if he attaches an energy, I'll probably use the Team Flare Grant. Um, if not, I'll use the Via Seeker for the Sycamore and try to get my DCE and start attacking okay let's see what he's going to do Professor Birch's observation, tails and anything else okay we can see like Quaso EX double dragon and my opponent ends his turn and let's see I might as well attach the heart charm to a Pokemon and then I'll just go for the Via Seeker to a Sycamore and try to get my DC. Okay, we got one. Let's use it. Um, I don't think that I'm looking for anything right now, so I'll just keep this hand like that and attack for 60, putting 20 damage on the Rayquaza and probably on one of the Reshirams because I can two shot a shame in anyway so okay we can see Sycamore and what else will he do let's see okay fire energy next turn I'll probably use the zero seek and keep on attacking um, yeah 
so we're doing decently we didn't have the best start but I think we still have a good chance of winning here uh, it doesn't look like my opponent can do anything so we'll just use the Zostic, discard his DDE getting rid of well even more of his energies and keep on attacking um, okay we get another phantom you know what let's undo this action um, no, okay, Ali will uh, use the Phantom. I don't want to use the Anon. We don't have a lot of cards in our deck. Um, let's use the Zero Seek, discard the energy, and just attack. And let's see, put 20 more on the Reshiram and 20 more on the Rayquaza. Okay, next turn I'll probably use a VS Seeker to get Lysander. Getting out this Rayquaza EX. Um, no, I'll actually get the Shaman probably, then uh, attack the Shaman, put 20 damage on this guy to knock him out, and 20 damage on the Rayquaza, and then I can two-shot the, two the Rayquaza with uh, Forest Cares if he gets active, okay. Let's attach a DCE, use the VS Seeker, um, okay, right now my opponent already mega evolved, I'll probably just license him out and start attacking then put 20 damage on this guy and on the eye dragon knocking out the reshram okay getting our third revenant of the prizes okay that's good um my opponent probably won't be able to attack anytime soon so we are in a pretty good situation okay you can see a pokemon fan club um for Okay, um, we used all of our VS Seekers, so I want to get uh, my Banel B soon, so let's evolve this Trevenant, and for now we'll just attack, putting 20 more damage on this guy and 20 on this guy. Okay, what will my opponent do? Okay, just evolve. Um, I have no really, I have no reason to use the Professor Beerus. So let's just attack and put 20 damage here, 20 damage here. Knock out the Reshiram, take another prize. Um, I don't want to attach this energy because it's my last psychic energy. I'm pretty sure. Um, no, I actually have one more, but I still prefer to save this one just in case one is prized, so I'll be able to attach it to the Banner B. Um, okay, you can see another DCE, I'll attach it to this Trevenant, and then just attack again, put 20 damage here and 20 damage here. Okay, what did my opponent do? Okay, Shrine of Memories. Professor Sycamore and anything else mm, with Shrine of Memories he can attack for Dragon Claw but it, all, it will only do 10 damage so I'm not that afraid and it will be pretty hard for him to charge up all the way to, okay he did manage to charge up for that and knock us out um, now let's see um, he has 160 damage on him, which means that we can one-shot him, actually. Yes? He, no. No, we can't. Um, hmm. Let's see. Well, I can sacrifice one of my Trevenants. It's not that bad, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Let's just get this guy out. I will attach the energy. Um, to this guy and then go and use 3 slam to attack and put some more damage around the board next turn he, he can't attack with um, uh, no wait he can right yeah I'm pretty sure he got heads so he can attack with Dragon Strike, but uh, even if he does, I can get, just get up with my second Revenant and knock him out. Okay, looks pretty good for us. What will he do? Mm. Hmm. 
I really hope to get my sacred ash soon. So, in case I get decked out, I can maybe save myself with a sacred ash. Okay, my opponent is inactive. Okay, he's back and Shauna for what will he do? Okay, double dragon on the Rayquaza on the bench and my opponent attacks okay okay so right now what I'll probably do is use the level ball um, let's see do I have another energy I have the DC I can use the DC on the banal B so that's okay then I'll get the banal B lay him down here and use the professor birch okay we got tails that's that actually might be good so we won't deck out um, I'll, okay I'll use the unknown to try and get the DCE for the panel B um, no we got the mystery energy okay so I'll lay down another phantom but touch the mystery energy um, let's see and I think that I'll just attack, knock him out, put 20 damage here and 20 damage here. Take two more prizes. Okay, and we get the Sacred Dash and the Energy, that's great. Um, what I think my opponent is doing is probably has a double dragon energy, he still has one, right? That's one, two, three, yes, yeah, so he should have one. Um, so we'll probably see him attacking and knocking us out. Um, then I'll go with the Banal B, use probably two um, Roto Tyler to get a VS Seeker, probably two VS Seekers back. So I'll be able to get the Zerosic and discard Double Dragon, making it so he can't attack. Um, and yeah, that's it pretty much. Okay, my opponent didn't have the energy required to attack, so. I'll use the Sacred Ash. Okay, get my Revenants. And I guess an unknown back into the deck. Okay. Um, right now, let me think. Um, yes, I think I'll just attack. Um, okay, let's use Tree Slam, attack put some damage here and some damage on the shaman okay and okay my opponent gets his reshiram up does he have the energy to attack that's the bigger question no but he does have the lysander which means that he'll probably use um, a mega turbo yes just like as expected Okay. Then he'll retreat and probably use Dragon Strike to knock out our Shaman. Yes, and he got Tails, so that's good for us. He can't use Dragon Strike on his next turn. So if he doesn't have another energy, he can't attack. Let's send out um, the Phantom because it has free retreat at the moment. Um, okay, let's use the Unknown. Okay, we got an energy. Mm -mm. Let's see, if he can't use Dragon Slam on his next turn, um, I should probably try. Yeah, okay. Um, probably has a VS Seeker for a Lysander, so I, don't, so I have to keep up the Forest Scare so he won't be able to Lysander out the Shaman. So. Okay, I'll retreat into the Trevenant, then touch, wait, I have a phone call, let me stop it, okay, so I'll attach an energy to the Banal B, and then attack for Tree Slam, putting damage on this guy and on this guy. Okay, so next turn, 
if we can get a Trevenant going with a DCE we can knock him out he has 180 damage on him we do 60 damage that will knock him out um, so yeah that's pretty much the plan let's see what my opponent do I have the Ultra Ball to get the Trevenant and I'll probably get the DCE because well I'll probably draw all of my deck out so yes we will get it I have a phone call again let me stop it for a second okay and my opponent does attack which means that we will win the game right now let's send up the phantom use the ultra ball to get the trevenant let's just make sure I'm pretty sure I have this here yes I do let's evolve the trevenant and just use the professor sycamore attach the DC and attack for the win knocking out this mega Rayquaza and taking our last prize winning the game so as you can see the item disruption can be really really powerful um, it's really fun deck really good for anti-meta and I hope that you've all enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video goodbye